Hey, Liana here from Everyday Crystal Magic and welcome to another video in the series Not all the crystals of the same color are the same. Today's color is green and there are so many of them. In this video, I'll talk about the energy of these crystals and introduce you to some new friends. The energy of green crystals is one of high vibration and is associated with the heart chakra because of the color. And if you have been following me for a while, you probably know about Rina Venturine, some jaspers, agates, and malachite, just to name a few. Green crystals are go-to crystals for wealth and prosperity, but they also promote healing, especially physical, and bring in rejuvenation energy, optimism, and with that, a happy heart. They also work on the upper chakras like throat and third eye. So here are some of these new friends I was telling you about. Number one, peridot or chrysolite. is the stone of the happy heart, beautiful lime green and that fiery shine, almost golden tone. Sometimes that's what gave the crystal the name of the evening emerald. The color only makes it an excellent pick-me-up and makes you happy just by looking at it. Number two, will you ever consider emerald as the stone for an engagement ring? This precious gemstone is considered to be the gem of fidelity and true love. It is also the crystal of clairvoyance and healthy eyesight in the physical aspect. Number three, Green Jane, a favorite from Eastern cultures for overall wealth and prosperity. The stone in the immortality suits the burial attire for Chinese royalty in the Han Dynasty. Number four, Green Tourmaline. The legend about Green Tourmaline is that when emerging from the center of the earth, it passed through a rainbow, taking all the colors for itself. When it comes to green tourmaline, also known as verdolite, it promotes openness, patience, stimulate creativity, it brings the energy of rejuvenation, and is a great crystal for herbalists, both for the study of the subject and to help you heal your plants. Number five, seraphonite, or angel wing stone helps to connect with the spiritual world and help in emotional healing when you are working with releasing and letting go. With that, it brings expansion, new beginnings, and abundance. In the physical aspect, it prepares the body for healing and promotes vitality. Number six, chrysoprase. I love this one. Personally, I consider it a bridging stone because you can use it to treat conditions associated to the solar plexus and heart chakra. For example, stomach issue or indigestion, issues that go up on the GI tract causing heartburn. It's an excellent detoxifier. Aside from the physical aspect, it promotes seeking truth, feelings of hope, and loyalty. It also promotes emotional health, joy, and happiness. And the last one for today, green opal, a stone of optimism, hope, and creativity. Helps in healing emotional trauma, removing blockages, and is the crystal to help you strengthen all kinds of relationships. So that's it for today for green crystals. Don't forget to check the links below for videos that speak of these other crystals, green aventure, malachi, musk agate, green fluorite. Don't forget to download your free guide and get a 20% off of our crystal healing course, also in the links below. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be well, have some fun, do some magic.